Hey guys, Devo here, and we finally got the Impact SAD builds out of the way, and now you have a solid base to farm specific elemental charge plates and gear to make a build for every matchup. Elemental charge plates hit quite harder than Impact, but therefore you lose the KO, which is a top tier CC for charge plate, and the consistency of damage through all the monster parts. Elemental charge plates depend purely on the monster sit zone. Anything above 50 plus is decent for elemental files. In 25 to 30 you will see up to 600 files per damage on maxed out builds. You can look hit zone values up on the hunter nodes, but for more accurate and correct information you can join my discord server, also you may find some friends to hunt together. We are pretty chill. But today we are going to cover the first elemental charge plate which will be the dragon, and tomorrow I will probably continue with ice, so be sure to subscribe to get notified whenever I upload. With that said, let's get straight to the build. There is only two dragon charge plates in the game with element files. The dragon tree, which is the Dracula, and the Wildstrux charge plate. On first look, they both look alright, but Wildstrux looks stronger. And indeed, it's much stronger because you don't lose DPS uptime due to sharpness. While with the dragon tree, you drop to green really quick and also has more element and row damage. However, the Vastrax build will be much harder to play due to constant drain loss and requires way more materials. So I included for both weapons a no charm build and a max out charm build for those who care. I highly recommend to not use the Vastrax build if you're not familiar with the matchups. Before I continue the video, a big shout out to Retro who provided gameplay footage on the background. This man beats world records literally on his first try, I'm not even kidding. After myself, of course, I'm better than him. Get wrecked, noob. Jokes aside, have a look on his channel if uh, you're interested in full gameplay and elemental charge plates. Okay, so here is the no charm build for Wildstrux charge plate. First off, you want to craft the Rampage deck of Wildstrux Soul which increases your elemental dragon attack by 20% and will give you a 100% uptime. Let me explain why. The skill dereliction from the two-piece final boss armor will consistently drain your health, but will give you a massive element boost whenever you're in the red scroll. When you swap scrolls, it will heal you back a little bit, so that's how you want to play if you don't want to heal manually every minute. The health loss triggers Dragon Heart, the armor set bonus from Valstrax, which will give you the Dragon Blade whenever you're below 70% health, which is pretty much always with this set. And is why uh, the synergy of all the skills works so great together and Valstrax Soul. Additional skills are Dragon Attack for maxed out element, Resentment, which is always active for a plus 20 row boost, Guard 4, which you will uh, have to adjust to less or more depending on the matchups with a free charge slot. The unpronounceable skill that I refuse to say its name since Monsanto World release will give you another plus 20 attack boost whenever you're blighted. So pretty much always again. Weakness exploit for Shons to crit on the monster set, dealing up to 4 digit melee SAD crits. Crit element is in by choice, it doesn't really help much besides a small boost on your melee hits, so it can pretty much be replaced with anything you want. Load shells to charge up from yellow 5 files. And the free level 1 slots I personally went with flinch free and diversion for aggro pooling. Because with charge plate you depend a lot on counter. Decos used are Wildstruck Soul, 2 Tenderizer, 2 Dragon level 1, 1 Dragon level 3, 2 Magazine, 2 Iron Wall plus 3, flinch free and diversion. And this is what a max out charm build will look like. We gain offensive guard for another 15% extra roll damage on SAD melee hits and chain crit 2. Chain crit gives plus 10 element and plus 10 row and decreases it every time you train another hit. Uh, I think the cooldown timer is 5 seconds, but it works with SAD because of the melee hits plus the files are 7 hits. So the last two files will have a massive damage boost. Decos used here are the same besides the 3 offensive guard and adjusting the charm slots. Okay, now let's move on to a way more user friendly build with health regeneration. Blood rate comes from the Malzino armor, which is basically health regen, whenever you hit broken parts. This will equal out the Dereliction health loss, which is Safi Jiva armor 2.0 basically. Partbreaker comes with the armor and helps a lot in breaking parts, so it's a great addition. If you have a charm with the slot, I would max out the first Rapid Morph or Partbreaker. This build won't deal as much damage as the previous one obviously, but is as good as it gets for being so comfortable with health regen and everything. It will hit a little bit less. 
On the Rampage Deco slot, this time you want to put Elemental Bane, which boosts your element, I think, by 10%, so it will boost your file damage. Decos used here are 2 Tenderizer, 2 Magazine, 3 Dragon, 1 Dragon plus 2, 1 Iron Wall, 2 Iron Wall plus 2, and Flinch Free. My CD switch skill setup is Counter Morph, Condensed Element Slash, Firing Pin, Counter Peak Performance, and Morphing Advance. For the guys who don't know, Counter Morph Slash um, is basically a slower guard point or a morph animation and will boost your file damage by 25% after guard points. On the blue scroll, I have only changed uh, Axe Hopper because I like it sometimes to use it or whenever I want to heal myself, I switch scroll because you know the dereliction skill from the final boss armor will heal you whenever you switch scrolls. But I think there is a cooldown, maybe like 30 seconds, I have no idea. So yeah, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, be sure to leave a like and comment down below of what you want to see next. Also, make sure to hit that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Don't worry, I don't use spoilers on the thumbnails for now. With that said, I wish you all a nice day and happy hunting, guys. Don't forget to join Cat Gang.